responses. I look to the member from Oshawa. Thank you very much, Speaker, and I am grateful to have the opportunity to ask the Attorney General a question today um, as we're talking about um, supporting people in business. Um, I have a question actually specific around long-term care accountability. Um, we've been having a conversation about making it easier for business to do business. Um, but when it comes to penalties and fines, I had sat opposite the former um, long-term care minister and had an understanding that, that those fines come out of the money the government would give to those businesses to do business, as opposed to, for example, cutting into profit margins um, or being really a financial disincentive. I understand that that gets into contract law, the Attorney General being, you know, uh, better versed than I. I wonder if the Attorney General would commit, you know, as we're usually trying to make life Question. easier for business, but when it comes to negligent and nightmare uh, actors, could we perhaps make it a little harder for them to make a buck off of the backs of the vulnerable in Ontario? Thank you. Thank you. I return to the Attorney General. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and I'm happy to address this because the, the things that the Minister of Long-Term Care is doing uh, is very progressive and, and making sure that we have more inspectors, making sure that we have inspections actually enforced. It's a myth, Mr. Speaker, that if one of the operators gets a fine that they're going to stop buying food or something like that. I don't know, you know, taking it out of the business, but somehow leaving the money in the hands of of the operator shareholders, uh, they have to do the, what they have to do. They have to provide uh, the things that they said that they would. That's the base of contract law. The shareholders, uh, like all owners and small business owners, I used to turn a key in a door, uh, Mr. Speaker. I also stood last in line to get paid, and that's how it works, and that's how it will continue to work in the long-term care industry.